Good afternoon, everyone. It's Baby Boy Live 99 coming at you. Get ready to drop a video. Get ready to do some. Um, yeah, we doing a little bit of everything, honestly, today. We about to make some. If you can see, come up here real quick. Here with my beautiful wife. As you can I'm see. Trying to see and tell them what we're about to make. Well, we're first of all about to make some ceviche. Um, we're gonna make some. Um, Ceviche. Po a poke bowl. Poke bowl. We're going to make, what are you going to make with the Tuna lobster? crunchers too. And then we're going to make like a, a lobster dip. It's got a cream cheese that's going to go in uh, with the tuna crunchers. And they're going to be really good. Um, as you can see, got to come out with that sweet baby. And then I got the beer to... tropical hug IPA. Yep, yeah, yeah. so it's going to be pretty good. Got to try it for the first time. Cheers. 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 That's good. You chocolate, chocolate peanut butter, espresso. You try? It's pretty good. That one's mm. good. Yeah, it tastes too much like coffee for me. <laughs> that yeah. one does. That's good so, I'm about to go ahead and put this lobster on. I'm gonna make a dip out of it. Um, got some olive oil, as you can see, in the pan. Up and then we're gonna cut this lobster real quick. So first we're gonna put some fresh garlic in there. Okay. Then we're gonna take that lobster right there, that way. This is gonna be a dip. So we gotta be careful when we cut this. So warm too. There we go. Don't want none of that falling off. So we're gonna let this cook on medium heat. Put it in there and let it cook up. It Already, can you smell it? <laughs> might not be a bad idea to, first time we use this right here, but we wanna make sure it doesn't come off of it. We're gonna put a little bit of salt, sea salt in that. Looks like that's cooking. Start coming down, just turn the heat down a little bit. Just it. See, it don't take much for lot of food in it. Yeah. You cook it pretty quick. You can cook it all in it. You need to make a little bit more olive oil on it. So I want to cook this first because I got to make some rice. And I, while the rice is boiling and doing what it's got to do, um, we could be making the, the, crack, the lobster dip. As you can see out here, look, we're actually on some land that belongs to my beautiful wife, his family, so get a chance to come out here and explore a little bit. We're going to do a little bit of fishing, too, while we're out here, too. We decided that a long time ago. So we're going to let these nice, beautiful lobster tails just kind of just curl up a little bit. Take up all that juice, flip it over, let it kind of just cook on its back a little bit. That way that heat and stuff is going through it and just making it tender and we don't have to let it overcook because like I said, it don't take long for that to cook. In the meantime, while that's doing that, we got to get, so we got a little bit of everything. So right now we got to get some cream cheese out because like I said, I'm going to make a, a lobster dip and then we got to get some cilantro out too because we got to make a pico de gallo with a See, pretty much everything that we need. So now that that's cooking, like I said, it don't take much for these to cook. We want them to just barely, barely be cooking. And lobster takes just a little bit to cook. Turn the heat off a little bit. Ooh! Let's see there. 
Did you get that? <laughs> we, we watched this outdoor chef video, outdoor chef life. Uh, Taki. I think that's how you say his name. Taki. Taki and his Taku. wife. His wife had, um, had him. Jocelyn. Jocelyn had him cooking some kind of Benedict crab. Egg I mean. Benedict. Crab egg Benedict. Crab egg Benedict. And let me tell you what, he's going to have to come to North Carolina and visit out here so we can try that. So what we'll do, we'll take these lobster tails out. Let them just cool off right there a little bit. We'll take this down here in the water so this is the fresh water. Then we're gonna come back over here. Turn that back on. Put some water in this. Maybe just a little bit more. And we're gonna put some rice in that. So right now we're gonna let these beautiful lobster tails just sit there. Cause I gotta make some Gotta chop up, chop up a lot of this cilantro because we've done a couple different dishes and whatnot. So we're gonna take that out, that there, take that out, and we'll just take the rubber band off. There we go. So now what we're gonna do, we gotta do it real easy though. Water, water. Because this thing has been cooking. You know what? Might come up with a different idea with that. I actually got a really good idea. We're gonna sit that down there. We're gonna let that boil. That way I can move this table and I can cut up some stuff because let me tell you what. Love the smell of fresh herbs in the morning, fresh in the cilantro. afternoon. <laughs> Good old fresh cilantro. This stuff is amazing, guys. We're gonna chop up both of them because, like I said, we're gonna make a couple of different things here. They have deer, so you never know. Always, just always recycle. <laughs> recycle. So as you can see that, it's going to be pretty right there, guys. So I'm going to put some rice on. Go ahead and let it prep some This fish. is pretty good right here, guys. Guys, my rice. My boy put me on this a long time ago. Um, it goes to work out this and that. It's some of the best rice you can cook. So we're going to... Go ahead and put some in here. We don't need much, maybe about a cup, a cup and a half, and that's about it. And that won't stop. So while that's doing that, we're gonna take a little bit of soy sauce. So we wanna go ahead and dye the, <clears throat> the rice a little bit while it cooks. About two tablespoons is all you need. <clears throat> So now we, I believe we're gonna go ahead and prep some um, more veggies and fish. Yep, and we'll be back at you as soon as we get done prepping them. Stay tuned, like, subscribe, hit that bell. Listen, we've got more stuff to come after this. We out in the country, they love riding four wheelers, side by sides and stuff, but we love you. We'll be right back at you. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, it's Baby Boy Live 99. Let's get it. So right now we're just getting the rice cooked for you guys. 
getting it already it's pretty much done let me shut this off I'm gonna take the rice and put it here so that it, it can kind of just cool down a little bit so you don't need much we just got a little bit extra than we need but it's okay this is gonna go for a poke, poke bowl first time we ever made this as you can see and then we want to take this here so much easier to take out when we get done so as you can see the wife has already got the tuna chopped up right now we get ready to do the the crab meat and then we're going to do the lobster tail with it too we might not use all this crab meat but it's pretty good though mm. the wife likes it with some warm butter Throw that in here. And what you got in the bowl already? So we got some cream cheese in there for it. Um, as you can see, the fresh lobster tail. Don't take much of it. It just gives it more of that juice and that flavor for it. We're gonna take some parsley. And we're gonna put a little bit in there. And this is, as you can see, this Himalayan is sea salt. Himalayan sea salt. Put a little bit of that. And now what we got to do is take our hands and smash it all up. Just get in there and smash it real good. So then we're just going to make it. This is a cream cheese. Trust me, guys, my hands are clean. Usually we have gloves because I don't like to do this mixture without the gloves on it. But you'll see what I'm about to make in just a second. After we get it all mixed up. And we're gonna do the rest of it. As you can see that. I gotta go down here because of my human fountain. Let me tell you though, if you haven't tried this yet, Beer Tropical Hug DDH Double IPA really really good 9.9 percent .9%. it's really good i'm not even gonna lie Let's see the other side of it beef island showing you the ipa mm -hmm. so this is the crab dip that we're making with it smash it up a little bit got lobster tail in it too so we got to cut up some bread really quick and what we're going to do with the bread is we're going to take the skillet, put it back on there, toast some bread, and let the wife I'll cut it up and she can flip. We'll, we'll be back at you in a little bit. Hey, like, subscribe. Welcome back to Baby Boy Live. As you can see, out here making some pizza for the tuna crunchers, okay? So you gonna guys going to get to see what that's for in a, in a little bit. Right now, I think I'm done with the cooking process. So we are getting ready to mix it up. So right now we need to take this. So this is the lobster crab meat cream cheese dip, okay? So we don't need much. I mean, we don't need this bowl to be in it. So we'll go ahead and Empty that out there. That way I have it. Then I'm gonna go down here because let me grab my towel. Tastes pretty good. Mm -hmm. 
jasmine rice, tuna soaking in some lime juice, tomatoes. This, I'll have to look again. Kevin can probably tell you what it is, but I believe it's like orange, roughy. Um, I can't remember what it's called. But that is delicious. The dip he made, the cilantro looks delicious. <clears throat> okay, now we're back. Okay, so first, we're gonna use some of these fresh limes here. About three of them. We're gonna take some of this. We won't need all this, unfortunately. We got a little bit too much, but it's okay. And then we're gonna make some, we're gonna put some tomatoes in there for it. Some people put onions in it. I'm not a big onion fan when it comes to raw onions. I love onions, I just don't like raw onions. Then we're gonna take some tuna, as you can see. Put some tuna in that for you. So right now we're making ceviche, okay? So we're gonna let that just sit. So my wife has let that sit in lime juice for about four to six hours, which is a good time. And, and then we're gonna take this. It's the best that you take it. Most people say roll it on the table. Just squeeze it. Makes it so much easier when it's time to cut it. And then just go down through there, put your, put your cut down through there. It breaks up all of them really strong muscles that are in there for it. And then just squeeze it over, okay? You wanna squeeze all the lime you can in there. Let's go ahead and mix this up right here. So we are gonna chop some onions up in this dough because ceviche has to have the onion in it. It has to have that taste. We won't put a whole lot in it because at the end of the day, it ain't cooked. So I'll grab it. I got a this is a red onion right here, as you can see. A leftover red onion. Some people might be saying that's a waste, but we've had it for a little a couple of days and just put up and I always cut what needs to be fresh at. And then. Like I said, we don't need a whole lot of it. Just enough. To have that flavor. To have that flavor, flavor. flavor. As you can see, now we're gonna squeeze a little bit more lime in it real quick. Looks delicious. You can see it just run off of that. I'm going to take some Himalayan salt. Put in that. Shake it off a little bit. And then we're going to just mix it up. So usually you put out like one ton crackers to put this on or whatnot, this and that. But we can put some in it if you want to. Yeah. And try it out. The poke bowl, put that, go ahead and put that in so we can have that on out. We can go ahead and put some tomatoes in there too. We can go ahead and have that out. We might put a little bit of extra tomatoes in here. The rest I would say rice too. So as you can see, we let the rice sit for a little bit. So we're going to put that rice in there too. Now this is what you call a poke bowl and we had this last time that we was <laughs> that didn't work out too good so we'll rinse that in just a second and now you have to do the tuna okay so most people want to do blocks okay so we're just going to cut that down and we're going to save a little bit because I am making some tuna crunchers 
I just don't want to be able to, I don't want to waste it. And why waste it when we can put it up? Okay. Just like that. As you can see. And we're going to take some of this is pretty right here, guys. Get that right down the middle. Lay that right out. bit different when it comes to fish. I always like my fish to be nice and clean. The same with chicken. We just keep cutting that down through there. How about that? And we'll put that in there too. As you can see we got all kinds of different stuff going on. This is gonna be for our tuna crunchers. Okay, so really quick, let me go down and rinse these out real quick. All right, we're back at your lob. So right now we're making um, the poke bowl. Spicy mayo. So we're gonna put some mayonnaise in here. Duke's mayonnaise is the only way to go, first of all. And then some sriracha. Yeah, you only could go with Duke's mayonnaise. Let me tell you yes. what, the only way to go. Yes. And then we're gonna do a little bit of sriracha right here. Then let me get my spoon. And then we're gonna just probably won't take all of this, but we're gonna try it out and <laughs> see. We're gonna just try a little bit because all you want to do is barely coat it. You don't want to do much more than coat it. And then, as soon as we get this mixed up just a little bit, there's a few other things that you want to add to it. <coughs> Looks just, good. As y'all can see that. Sorry now, this, about the lighting too, it's getting a little dark now. So. Yep, so this is a poke bowl. We're gonna put just a little bit of, not much, just a little bit of lime juice. Lemon. I mean, lemon <laughs> juice, yep. A little bit of lemon juice. They all get mixed up. And now just a little bit of lime juice. Mix it up. Most people don't put cilantro in it, but I think the flavor is outstanding. Amazing. Yeah. Yes, it sure is. So. We're sort of putting our own mix onto this poke bowl, by the way. Yeah. Sometimes they come separated. You can mix them up. That's my favorite part of the poke bowl. But We're going to just put just a little bit of soy sauce. Not much soy sauce, just a little bit just to give it that little bit salty flavor. And as always, you know, a little bit of Himalayan salt and a little bit of olive oil, not much. And just mix that up. Hey, listen, if you don't like sushi, you're probably gonna like this. <laughs> it's one of the best things that you ever eat, I promise you. And what you want to do next is we'll drain them tomatoes off right there a little bit. And then we need to do one of the main ingredients that I about forgot about. Avocado. Gotta have your avocado. So what we do is slice this right down the middle. Turn it around. Flip it out. Take your knife, poke it, and then pour it. Let's go. Fling it. <laughs> and what you want to do next is you want these to be about cube size. You don't want them to, you don't want them where they're going to fall apart every time you eat it. And then we'll take it and we'll just do cubes like that. You can see. Take your knife, go behind it. Look at that. 
Let's rake it out a little bit. Throw that one away. Do the same thing. As you can see. And we're gonna do this to the ceviche too. We about forgot to put that in there for ceviche. Let me grab a couple. So many ingredients. Just can't keep up with all of it sometimes. But that ceviche smells so good with that cilantro. It looks beautiful. So we're gonna take. Same thing. Take it, go around, pour it off. Half time to it to come out. Throw it away. And we'll do one more like this. Now let me tell you what. Most time you might want to use like a butter knife because these Danko knives. Pro series Danko knife. Shout your, out to Blue Gabe. Yeah, they'll cut your fingers off. Literally. Now you don't want to smash it in there, you just want to give it a little turn. Probably yes. should have had a little bit bigger bowl. That's but it's okay. okay though. It works. It works. You're gonna get an avocado bite, all the all the little bites there. Yep, you're gonna get all the bites. So we're gonna take a little bit of this. Put it in this bowl. Only because it's a pretty big bowl. Save some for later too. Yep. You know we ain't gonna eat we'll all save this. Save some for later. We're gonna take this bowl right here. Let me tell you what, these right here. One. These wand chips. Wonton. Wonton chips are amazing. Put a little bit of that in there for you. Just a little bit of garlic salt on top of it. Now there's a couple ways you could go with this. You could eat this the way it is. Which we have our chopsticks for. Which we have a yep, chopsticks for. Or you could take this and spread it on here. And what this is, at the end of the day, we're making tuna crunchers, okay? So what you do is just take it on and pack it full. It's a great appetizer for you and the wife or you and the friends at a ball game. Take you a couple of tomatoes, put on that. Take you just a little bit of sriracha, touch the top of it. Give it a little bit of spice. Take you a little bit of parsley, put on it. And let me tell you what, that's it. So I'm gonna let, as a gentleman, I'm let my wife do the first owners. Let her try it and see. Got a little bit of sriracha. <laughs> good. So good. So good. So and that good. cilantro is refreshing too. Let's see. Good, I know. Mm. Mm. Wow. Can't even explain. It's really, really good. Got a couple more things that we're about to cook. Got to put some avocado in the Ceviche. Ceviche. Um, I did get me an IPA somewhere, guys. I don't know what I've done with it, but I thought somebody got me one. But... Not yet. We was looking through all of them. Wondering which one you wanted yet. I'm going to go with... It's a big one. <laughs> That's what my... I'm stuck on that one, too. It's a big one. Try that green so, one. So we will go... Well, we'll go with yep. No. We're going to go with this one. We're going to try this one. A hazy IPA and, and it is 6.7 percent. The lid popper, yeah. you used it last on something here. Not this, okay? So, we're gonna have to pop this open. So 
So we'll be right back at you. Baby Boy Live 99, be right back at you. I gotta find me something to pop this open. He's gonna go pop his beer open, but I was just gonna say that we are gonna go ahead and get everything, clean this table off so we can go ahead and eat. We'll be right back with you with the final presentation of everything. Um, we've got everything cooked, so no more cooking. So we're just gonna come back with the final presentation. Um, he's also gonna try that hazy IPA. So we'll be right back at you guys. Back at you, baby boy live 99. Um, finally got done finishing, fixing <laughs> some, as you can see, the different stuff that we have. We have a poke bowl, as you can see. Poke bowl. Pretty amazing. And ceviche. Ceviche. It's got white bass and it has tuna in it. And then we have different tuna crunchers, so. We about to dig in and give it a shot. I'm gonna oh. start with the tuna cruncher as well. I'm gonna start with the start. I'm gonna with start one. with this one. It's got tuna on it. As you can see. It's gonna be amazing. So good. Look at that. So good. Mm. Well, as you can see, I get me a hazy IPA stone. It's not too bad. It's actually pretty good. I'm going to try the ceviche next because I have not had it yet and I've been craving it. Yeah, I bet it's good. As you can see, I'm going with the poke bowl. Tomato, tuna, and cilantro. It's good. Mm -hmm. You can see that. Avocado, tuna. Pro, I think that's the nine because they just came out with a 10 and sometimes it wants to cut off. Somebody show me how to keep that from doing that. Leave comments in the description below. Let me know. As you can see, look at that heavenly goodness. It's good. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Listen guys, if you're ever at home, just sitting around, life's too short to be sleeping all day, get up and do something. Go outside, excuse me. We have so many leftovers, literally, like if you go to a restaurant and order this at a restaurant, you can probably gonna spend about, for what we have here, you're gonna probably spend a good 60 bucks you could literally make it yourself. Get up, explore, do different things. Life's too short to be sleeping all day, the way I see it. You can sleep when you die. <laughs> Get up, have a good time. Met this beautiful woman a few years ago and she loves exactly what I like to eat. So it could be a good thing, could be a bad thing because then she eats all the food that I like. So, but it's okay though, but listen, that's probably going to be all for us tonight. We'll upload some more videos later on. <clears throat> have a lot of people looking, viewing. I need people to the like, subscribe for me. Subscribe for us. We're going to have more videos coming to you, I promise you. We've got a lot of stuff in the works. Ain't going to happen overnight. You got to crawl before you walk. And as you can see, she's going to finish. We're going to finish. We're going to have a good time. If it weren't for her, I don't know where I'd be. Just want to let her know I love her. Appreciate everything you do. Smell like fish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anyways, we love you guys. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. We'll be back at you with another video coming from you from North Carolina. Hopefully, we get to drop a video with our boy um, Catfish Cornelius, um, big YouTuber up in Illinois. I think been watching him on Ohio River catching some big old monster catfish. My boy CT from Connecticut, holla at him. 
blue game, deer meat for dinner, um, outdoor chef as always. You're the reason why we do a lot of this. We love you guys, love you and your wife. Maybe, hopefully, we can get up and do a video together. Who knows if you ever see this video or not. Hopefully, you do, you never know. But we love you. Be back at you. Y'all have a good night. God bless.